welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I have these three easy nail art mini tutorials for you. So just keep watching if you want to see how it's done. So I just want to quickly say excuse my nails and excuse the red bitten skin bits around my nails. I have a habit of biting them so I just want to apologise for that. So to do these nail art bits, the lovely people at Banggood sent me some lovely goodies to review for you guys and to use in this tutorial. So they sent me a set of foils and some dried flowers, some beautiful striping tape in loads of different colours. I also chose this cuticle bit. Now if you watch my videos you'll know that I use Todak USA to buy all my e-file bits so I thought I'd give this a go. And then I also chose this set of three stirrers so you can use these for stirring gel pots, acrylic powders, anything like that. But I got them to stick practice tips on so I can do tutorials with them. So you, really easy, you just stick them on with a little bit of blue tack and you've got yourself a practice tip to work on. So that's what the three look like, all ready to go. I'm going to use them in this tutorial for you guys. So that's everything I got from Banggood. I'll leave links in the description box down below. So the first tutorial I'm going to do on this marble nail with foil. So these are the four foils. I haven't picked what I'm going to use. I'm going to do a base layer of Strong Gale from Magpie Beauty, it's one of their gel colours. I'm applying that first layer now and then that will be going into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Once that's come out of the lamp, I'm then going to apply my second layer of colour gel, but I'm not going to cure this. I'm leaving this wet. I am not curing this layer because I'm now going in with Plain Jane and Let It Shine, which is Magpie's top coat. I'm applying two dollops of those on my little palette, top right corner, and I'm going to be using my Magpie Beauty striper brush to apply this into that wet grey gel polish and the reason why I've left it wet is because it really helps to blend that where I've put the white on the nail. I have got a tutorial more in depth on how to do marble nails using the same technique up on my channel. I'll link that in the description box down below for you guys. But yeah, I'm just going in applying the white first and then going in with that top coat and applying it kind of to the side of where the white is and it helps to blend that white and give it more of a realistic marble effect. I really like the way it just helps it effortlessly blend. Really super easy to do as well. Then pop that into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Once that's back out of the lamp I'm just choosing which foil I want to use. I've gone with this gold with the kind of oil slick running through it. So I've taken the tiniest bit of that, you really only need a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm literally just taking my nail and the tweezers and splitting it all up into tiny little pieces. So I haven't put any gel on this, I'm literally just applying this foil into the tacky layer, the inhibition layer of the gel from when we last cured. And this foil is actually really good, it's really fine. So it lays really nice and flat into that inhibition layer. That's what you want from foils. You don't want them to be stiff and rigid because otherwise they won't lay flat. You want them to be really nice and flaky. That's how you know you've got some good quality foil. And these were really easy to work with. I didn't feel like I needed to do my first layer and give me strength, which is a slightly thicker gel, which I normally do when I'm doing some nail art. So I literally am just applying two layers of Let It Shine Top Coat, curing for 60 seconds in between each layer, and that's done. So going on to the striping tape nail, I think this one's my favourite, and it is the most simplest to do. So out of the set of striping tape I got, I picked out this gorgeous royal bright blue holographic, and I'm going to go in with Black Betty, and I'm going to apply two layers of Black Betty, curing for 60 seconds in between each layer. Okay. 
So now I'm just taking my lint free wipe and just going over with some cleanser to remove that inhibition layer so the nail goes matte and then I'm taking that striping tape and I'm literally just applying it one directly down the nail and then snipping it off, one going on a diagonal one way snipping it and then the other piece of tape going across. I mean you could apply this in any way you want, create any cool kind of geometric design you could do whatever you wanted, you could literally leave it just as the one piece going straight down the nail, that looks really cool and it's really quick and easy to do something like this for a client if they just want one accent nail, something a little bit sparkly, a little bit different but not a full glitter nail, this is something nice to do, you could literally just do one stripe along the cuticle area and it'd look quite cool. So because this design is slightly thicker and striping tape has the tendency to peel off the nail, I'm going in with a layer of Give Me Strength which is a slightly thicker, stronger gel. Also from Magpie Beauty, curing that for 60 seconds. Once it's come back out the lamp, I'm then top coating it with Let It Shine. And then that nail's all done. It's really super easy, you can create any design you want. And I found this striping tape really good. It really was thin, so it stuck to the nail really well and no, it didn't stick out on the edges or anything like that. So highly recommend this striping tape. So moving on to the last nail art technique or design, I will be using these gorgeous dried flowers. I use these in the salon a lot, I, my clients love these dried flowers, I've used them before so when I was making this order, when they asked me what I'd like to have, I requested dried flowers straight away because I knew I would use them and love them. So I'm going in with one layer of God Golly Miss Molly from Magpie Beauty and curing for 60 seconds. I'm just trying to show you in the light how gorgeous this pinky nude is. And then I'm taking Eura Gem also from Magpie Beauty and I'm applying this in kind of an S shape on my tip and I'm literally applying it directly in the center of the nail in like a little trail and wiping off my brush wiping off most of the excess and then using my brush to blend out the edges slightly so it's not a harsh line that's going through the nail so i'm just softening those edges and your gem is so beautiful you can use this over any color gel polish to create different effects it's really versatile and look at that sparkle love a bit of sparkle Secure that in your lamp for 60 seconds. So here I'm just choosing what colour flowers I fancy. I went for kind of like a pinky kind of vibe. So I'm going to be using Give Me Strength to apply these to the nail. So I'm just applying some Give Me Strength in the areas that I want to apply these dried flowers to. So I'm pretty much just applying them over where I put the glitter. So I'm just taking my tweezers with three flowers that I chose and applying them onto the nail. If you were doing these on your client's nails, you probably only fit one or two flowers on. So I just used three because I had a bigger area to play with. Now if you're struggling to get them to lay flat, I saw somebody else's video, I can't remember who, I'll link it below if I can find it where they used a plastic bag to lay over the client's nail to hold down the flowers whilst they cure it. And because it's a plastic bag, it peels off. And as you can see here, it helps them lay down so super flat. It's, a, it's amazing, it really does work. So again, because this is a thicker nail art design, I'm going to be using Give Me Strength from Magpie Beauty to fully encapsulate and seal in those dried flowers to stop them coming off or anything like that and this technique I use on my clients and they come back three weeks later and they're still perfect. So curing your lamp for 60 seconds and when it comes back out I'm going in with Let It Shine top coat, applying one coat of this to now and curing for 60 seconds and then that nail is done. Also I love the sparkle popping through in the back and this is so versatile, you could use different colourways, different colour flowers to create loads of different designs. And these flowers are beautiful. So there you have it. That's what I came up with. They are the three designs. I absolutely love all three. They're so different and they're reasonably easy to do. Practice makes perfect, so don't give up. 
and I really hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial slash product review let me know what you thought in the comments down below thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye